Hello folks, function overloads in TypeScript are an incredibly powerful tool for building things that um, really are not possible to build otherwise. Here we have a compose function which takes in multiple uh, other functions and produces another function, which is a key tenet of, uh, of functional programming. So here, if we just had an add one function, we would just have a number which returned another number. But then if we wanted to take a num to a string, so we add one and then turn it into a string, then finally it goes number to string. And then if we want to turn it into a, into a number again, we go string to num and finally it's number to number. How do we achieve this? Well, we've used function overloads. We've got the actual implementation of the function here and you can see that it's kind of stubbed. It's just got any inside it. And TypeScript allows you to do this. So currently we're returning this as any. So I don't want you to look at that too hard. Instead, look it up here. We have the first signature, or the first overload for Compose, which takes in two generics. It has the input, which is the very first thing you input into the, uh, into the returned function. And then you have the first argument. So here we're saying first arg because down here we're going to add a second arg and a third arg. And what it returns is a function which takes in, essentially just uh, returns the function that it's passed there. Now that's only triggered if you use one argument here. So essentially only if you do this, if you add one. If you add in a second function there, then the second overload is triggered. So now you have an input first arg and a second arg. And here you have func and func2. So this returns the first arg, then the first arg gets passed in to the second function there, which returns the second arg, which returns a function which takes in the input and returns the second arg. And the third uh, overload here, it means it just does the same thing again, but adds a third arg to it. So what this does is it means that you can have things like where you, um, you add one, but imagine if you go num to string first, and then you try to add one to it. This means that there's actually an error here because the string is not compatible with the number signature. And this means that function overloads are incredibly powerful for these sorts of compositions.